facilitate an initial shift change. We mentioned earlier, they're going to be jockeying, trying to get their defensive players against Savard and also Troy Murray. The first hit of the night comes on Mark Hunter and there's Keith Brown, and they're going at it. Right off the bat, we're not a minute into the hockey game, and they love it. Hunter down on top. And Brown give him a pretty good shot coming down the board. And Terry Frazier now trying to get them out of here, and these people love it right out of the gate, and they're trying to intimidate the Blues, obviously. Have a look at how it started, Mike. Excuse me, Brown going in with Hunter right there. Now, the Hunter decides that's enough of that. They collide one more time, and away we go. But I didn't see a stick come up to cause the blood on the ice. But uh, I don't know. I think it may be Brown that's got, he's got a towel up to his face in the penalty box. You see the two of them wrestling. Curls it back around. Gilmore looks for Beers. Trying to get it to Barr, and Doug Wilson denies. Patterson trying to pull it away. Barr to the front, shoved off. Lewis power play coming up right here. Watch the pass go right across the front of the net. Bourgeois. Is it Cavallini in front? Can't quite Beers, see who it I is. Eddie it Beers, 19. Out. Yes, and Beers with a good shot just a moment before. The Blackhawks have been alternating between Solvay and Bannerman most of the year. Seconds left on the power play, and Reeds loses, but on Paderko. Pat stop. Bannerman rebound, and Bannerman has it. Oh. get several good scoring chances. Scoring chances there by St. Louis. Bannerman is there to make the saves. Historically, isn't it thought that the Blackhawks really come out like Tigers in the first few shifts here? Sure do. Well, when you've got this kind of a support in a building, and boy, these people just don't stop. They're up on their feet all night long. With a loud cheer. To get it is Al Secord. And Savard up the wing and hands to him. And Savard just muscled right off and hit a second time. Gets the rebound off of Dougie Wilson. He pinches in right there, gets the shot on, and watch Larmer. 28 right outside the crease. Puts it underneath Rick Wamsley. They don't cover Steve Larmer quick enough, and he gets a quick wrist shot underneath the goaltender right there. Big C court, number 20, is causing problems in front of Wamsley, and the score is open. The Hawks on the board. And as we predicted, this place goes bananas. 15, 25 seconds, and they couldn't get it up behind their own net. Doug Wilson's pass clicks ahead, and Larmer able to get by Pavis. Larmer, slot, Secord, score! Beautiful. Pretty goal by the big line of the Blackhawks. Savard, Larmer, and Secord, and you see the three on two. Larmer spots Secord out deep in the slot. Savard went for the net. The St. Louis defenseman had to follow him, and that left Al Secord all alone back in the deep slot area. See Larmer take a little look right there. Both St. Louis defensemen go back in deep, and bingo. Al Secord beats Rick Wamsley 2-0 Chicago. We talked about the Blues not letting the Hawks out. All of a sudden, they put the long pass out the right side to Larmer, and next thing you know, it's 2-zip.
Bergevin and uh, Bergevin and Bobby Murray back at the point. Brown's got the kind of speed that allows him to play wing. He's a very good skater, always has been. And LaValle, given a good shoulder by O'Callaghan, is on his part for a shot. Bannerman just taps that away as Mahar looks in front. Backhander by LaValle, smothered by Bannerman. And then along for some help came Doug Wilson. And so the Blues not with 15.36 to go in the second. It's the Hawks. Their record better now than before the trade. On with it comes Olchek. Olchek moving on Lee Norwood. Nice move. What a move by Olchek. Troy Murray to Frazier and back out to Ed Olchek. Olchek moving on Rob Ramage oh. with a quick shot that is just speared out of the air marvelously by Wamsley. Boy, Eddie Olchek, what a show he's putting on here tonight. It's the second time in this hockey game he's been down with a dash. And a good quick move to the forehand. Look at it right there. Goes to the forehand just in front of the stick of Ramage and let that shot go while he was in full stride. Bannerman breaks up that plan. Secord's pass broken. It is Carlson for a shot by Wickenheiser that Bannerman stops. Norwood keeps it in. Big flash. Pass stop. Rebound in front. And Carlson had that one flexed away by Bannerman. Check right in his shadow. Murray drifting across and flipping one for Frazier. Short side high. Rebound. Pass stop. Two close calls around the St. Louis net. Bergevin stops. They want to keep the pressure going on. chance to see some of that action as the rugged Ben Wilson knocked down a blue. He is a good, solid, team-leading individual. From this face off with Federko off now, a shift change has been made. Pavis with a shot blocked oh. by Steve Larmer. Here's a chance. Only Bourgeois back. Seacord is the other winger. Larmer trying to get it to oh. Seacord. He scores! You believe it. are getting the breaks and this is a perfect example they break out from their own end on a two on one Weimer tries to get it to Secord a good defensive play by Charles Bourgeois number four and wouldn't you know it the puck bounces right back to Larmer watch this and Wamsley has no chance on the play and Larmer just dumps it in the open net Steve Larmer his second of the night and 26th on the year and listen to this place themselves they do to the opposition take a run at somebody and only get a little piece of them and then they crash into the boards here we go a chase on Lockhart challenged by Bannerman he scores oh, short-handed goal big goal by the Blues to get back into the hockey game and Bannerman just waited a little too long to come out he realized that St. Louis was going to break in Lockhart with that very good speed just outraced Murray Bannerman to the puck from all the way deep in the St. Louis zone and see Brown is standing up expecting with his team having possession not to have to go back and Flockhart with a good little move around the big goal stick of, of Bannerman that is a very large goal for St. Louis it jumped over Brown's stick and Flockhart with a good speed Bannerman delayed a little too long to make his decision to come out and get it and back it comes to Wilson who gives to Murray Boy, what a stop by Wamsley. Larmer standing right there looking for the third hat trick goal. And now they mix it up with Ravage and Secord and Larmer, Savard, and Spaderko. But Wamsley got his hand on that glove just a split second before Larmer could bang it in the open net. Ramage and Secord with the gloves off now right in front of Dave Newell. Just five seconds left in the second period. punches have been thrown here, so whether they'll get penalties or not, I don't know at this point. Separate them. Al Secord with one glove off. Look out. Here goes Secord. He belt somebody back there, and the fight could be on. I'm not sure who he took a punch at, but he's going to pay for it probably. Wickenheiser's got a bear hug on somebody down there in the corner. It's Bourgeois, I believe, that Secord took a shot at. Bourgeois now trying to spear the Chicago 
baseball player. Boy, that's dangerous. That is dangerous. Savard seemed to sneak in a left there after Bourgeois had done a shove, uh, thrown a shove in the direction of one of the Chicago players. The Secord's after Bourgeois. Or that scramble in front of the net. It was Savard who disarmed Bourgeois, taking his stick away. They were both standing with the sticks sort of in each other's midsection. And Savard ends up with his still in his hand, and Bourgeois without. They're going to send them off now. They're going back for Chicago. You understand that the Oilers have voted that the 200,000 will be divided among the four trainers. Troy Murray passes. difference is three early in the third period. That was a perfect play by Troy Murray. Eddie Olchuk, who's been all around the net tonight with some good moves. And look at Murray with that little dump pass. Olchuk on the backhand, redirects it behind Wamsley. A little over a minute into the third period. And indeed, the big three-goal bulge again. Hot wrist shot. Watch the pass here. Quick right over to Larmer. And bingo, he lets that quick little snap shot go. Not a big slapper. Not a straight wrist shot, but a little snapshot, and he almost made it five to one. It is Reeds once more. Nice play through to Gilmore. Gilmore shuffles loose. Gilmore on Bannerman hit the side of the goal. Gilmore really hammered by Bergevin, and that'll cost. Boy, I'll tell you what, Bergevin just nailed Reeds out at the by the blue line, and finally they get called in back of the net as they mill around. Penalty coming up. Hawks four, Blues one. Going up with his toes a little bit. Looks to Ramage. Play off the valley. Hurried it wide. Rebound. Score! Nice Ernie goal. Federko. Yes, Federko off the backboard's got a perfect bounce. Power play goal. St. Louis. And again, they climb within a pair. Bannerman really had no chance on the play. Let's have a look at it here. Cross ice pass. Is it Lavalley over there? Took the original shot. It came right back to Federko. 24. It was placed perfectly to Bannerman's right. He just slammed it in the short side. Open. And with 10.59 to go, the Blues are again within a pair. 4 to Chicago. Hunter checked off by Frazier. Right there to work it is Troy Murray. Give it go to Murray from Olchek. And here's Murray in front. Strong oh. puck loose in the crease. Cleared away by the defense. It was going in the net. Murray with a lead pass from Olchek. Good move here. Wamsley challenged and over, over Murray went to watch this puck. It is going in the net and it's Bourgeois who banged it out of the road. And then there were bodies flying all over the place. Once again, Murray collision with Wamsley and there's Charles Bourgeois on the right spot to knock it away and play is stopped. Look at this. Here's this is not for the glass the this measure. time. This yep. is for the two minutes. Dave Newell with the stick in hand of Tom Lysiak. It is more than a half inch curve. Uh, Chicago gets a penalty. No planning is he shaking vice. his head no? They are looking at it awful close, aren't Must they? Be close. It's got to be awful close. A two-minute penalty for using an illegal stick at 13.50. Cleared by Doug Wilson, but kept by Ramage. Tipped in front, but Bannerman got it drive oh. wide by LaValle. Rebound to Ramage. Big shot. Oh. Tipped away artistically by Bannerman. Boy, a bad play by Dougie Wilson to give up. I bet she will pull him. To the bench comes Wamsley for a sixth attacker, but the play is smothered, Oof. and we get Blair. It is Bobby Murray, number six. You were right, Mike, right off the bat. I don't know if Bobby got... Seconds. Thrown back in, and Ben Wilson just drives one off Norwood, followed up by Federko. Here's Federko centering, and that off of Blackhawk in front. Cleared, and Ramage has a shot. High shot off the glass. Two seconds, one second, and the Hawks will keep first place to themselves. Their advantage becomes four points, and now Norwood. And one of the Blackhawks, I believe, Ben Wilson. Chatting about everything that has gone on in this evening. The final score in the game, the Chicago Blackhawks four, and the St. Louis Blues two. We'll be right back with Jim Kelly after this message. <laughs> 